I'm not too concerned about that right now. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, so we're gonna add some code down here after search YouTube. So I'm gonna hit enter. Um, oops, I'm gonna hit enter again. I'm gonna do dollar sign, do dot token class dot click function. And we're gonna do a that guy right there. I'm gonna do page token dot current equals dollar sign this dot value equals next. And do question mark page token dot next page. And then we'll do a colon there. And we'll do page token dot previous page. So hopefully this fixes our record stop. All right. So now we have that. And then we come down here. So this is, I think this is what we're missing. We'll see if it works. And then we'll do search YouTube. So we'll call our function here. Oh boy. All right. Search YouTube. Okay. Then let's see, I'm just kind of navigating through and see if there's anything I'm missing or anything I need to add. So we have our Ajax call, we have our data type, type, all that is pretty much set. Um, I'm going to change this to 25 this time. Um, only because it will, you know, decrease the uh, capacity of how long it takes to load. Our token dot next page equals data, that looks good. Console dot log that looks good our HTML looks good our okay so we're gonna change this around a little bit here is we have um so we have our snippet title that looks good we have our snippet thumbnail that looks good we're gonna change this piece around a little bit so that we can maybe make it work better so let me think about what I can do here um let me check something out first so let's go to www.youtube.com slash watch. I think it's video, I think. Okay, see how that is right there? Watch V equals. That's what we need in our code. So we could add stuff on. So let's do here. div class equals um, URL right here. Uh, and then we could do A. H R E F, if I can spell, equals. And let's do this. And here we could put https www.youtube.com slash watch question mark V equals. And then we could do a tick here plus value. So that moves over my other screen value dot id dot video id plus this guy here double quotation and then do target equals underscore blank so it opens up a new screen and does that and i think that will do that aspect of it oh uh, hold on i think i have to add more stuff so really running out of space here a real estate so we have blank forward slash now we have to do plus value dot id dot video id plus tick and then do the a to close up the link i think that's it i hope that's it i'm pretty sure that'll work we want to do we want to capture that that value id here plus i think this looks right all right only one way to tell it i know all right so we then have that output and i think that's it really so let me save this well, let's uh where the heck my page go and uh all right 
refresh. And let's do point park again. And hit search. All right, so now we have links. All right, so we have a link now. And Copa experience, what is that? All right, so let's see if the, who are these guys here? Let's see if we could do a next page. All right, so that apparently didn't work out accordingly. So we should have been able to do previous and next. Hmm. Let me see if it worked on my other video I made. The other video, it worked. So I must have did something wrong. So if you look here, when I do it here, I do point park. I'll make sure university. I hit next. Page goes next. It keeps going on. So let me see what I did here real quick. Kind of move some code around here. I'm not sure if I miss. I, I didn't miss anything. I just kind of straightened the code up a little bit. And now it seems to be working. So if I come out here and type in point to park university hit search hit next things start coming up now that's what we want so I'll pull out my code again a little bit here and look at scrolly scrolly slowly go down see if I you guys see anything I missed but for the most part this is what we want to accomplish. I'll scroll over a little bit. I just had some of these, I had spacing issues in mind, so I had to go back and fix spacing. It seemed like it fixed it. As you see, it looks neater than it did. And that right there actually puts the code in, in place and you know everything's working the way it's supposed to work. And that's what we were looking to accomplish. You guys, congratulations. You built your first API connecting to Google. Um, so, um, you know, go ahead out and try it out, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.